Paige? What are you doing? Simon, I read in the Bible that trumpets can take down walls. So, I thought I would give it a try. If a trumpet can take down a wall, imagine what my trombone can do. Paige, this is our church. You can't knock it down. And anyways, it's not gonna work. What? Why wouldn't it work? It worked for Joshua in the Bible. Trumpets weren't exactly the reason the walls fell down. If sound could knock down buildings, I probably wouldn't have a house. Wait, so then, why did the walls of Jericho fall down when the Israelites blew their trumpets? Let's back up a little. After the Israelites left Egypt, they wandered around in the desert for a really, really long time, but God promised them a land to go to. But it took forever for them to find it. And when they were finally ready to go to the promised land, they had to get through the kingdom of Jericho first. Right. And that's when the Israelites marched around in circles around the city of Jericho for seven days in a row. Yes, but Jericho had these huge walls that they had to get through before they could conquer the city. Now Joshua knew that God had the power to make the walls crumble. So after they had marched around the city seven times, Joshua commanded, Shout, for the Lord has given you the city. The Israelites shouted, the trumpeters trumpeted, and the walls came crumbling down. So it was actually God who took down the walls. Exactly. The trumpets were just a sign that God's power is strong and loud and unstoppable. So, God has all the power. But does that mean even if I wanted to, I couldn't make a big kaboom with my trombone? No. Unless... William, do you think? I'm on it.